Hello, I'm Andrew Dipper of Dipper Restorations, and this is my workshop that I'm working in. Um, you can see various instruments around. This is an instrument that's a copy of a Peter Guarneri of, of Mantua um, that's uh, waiting for varnish at the moment, and uh, some various setup things. And I'm working on an inlay for another viola de gamba. It's a, a copy of a Kaiser vial. And um, as what you see today is very much the kind of thing that goes here, on here in the workshop. Uh, a lot of restoration of historic instruments that I haven't got out on the bench at the moment, but also some uh, making, some copies. And uh, I also do uh, research and some publications as well concerning violin technology. Since 1967, I've worked on the restoration of musical instruments created by some of the greatest makers of past times. These include Stradivari, Amati, Tilke, Testore, Tiefenbrucker, Louvet, Cousineau, Barak Norman, Henry J., and many others. My restored instruments can be found in many private collections and in public museums, museums such as the Metropolitan Museum in New York, the Federal Musical Instrument Museum of Berlin, the National Music Museum in Vermilion, South Dakota, and the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. I'm fluent in Italian and French, and this has allowed me access to many rare manuscripts and books on music and musical instruments. These I have used to uncover the working practices of the great violin makers of the past and how their construction techniques influence the sound of their instruments. Understanding the greatest violinists from the 17th and 18th centuries and how they used their bows has been the focus of my research over the last five years. The Corette model bow that I make is a design influenced by Michel Corette's treatise on violin playing that was written in 1720. I have a library of drawings and measurements of original bows, and I've studied at museums in Europe and the United States. From these bows, I've developed my Pierre Tort, Kramer model, and French model. My Paganini bow model is modeled after a bow in a private collection and on the famous etching of this great violinist that was made in the early 19th century. Many players have told me that it replicates the pearl-like staccato in the music that he was known for. I'd like to introduce to you Rachel Wong playing my Paganini bow and the violin by C.G. Schlosser. I sell fine examples of original historic Baroque instruments. I make historically informed Baroque and classical bows. I specialize in the restoration of historically significant and ornate fretted and bowed musical instruments from the periods between 1570 and 1830. Uh, thanks for joining me today in the shop. Um, you, uh, I've been working at the bench on uh, instruments, so you can see various things around. I'm uh, very happy to see you, and if you want to make an appointment and want to see things that we are doing and want to see a range of the newest instruments that are coming out of the shop, uh, I'd be very happy to see you.